It's now time for Mark Hankins. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Welcome to the program today. I'm Mark Hankins. This is my wife, Trina, and we are happy to be with you. And thank you for joining us. We are talking all this week about the precious blood of Jesus and talking about faith in that blood, what it does in you, what it does in heaven, and what it does over your adversary, the devil. So I'm excited. I love studying the blood of Christ, what it has done for Amen. us, and how to have faith in that blood. Yes, yes. And so we're just having a great time already. The book we're offering this week is called The Bloodline of a Champion, Ever Chapters on Faith in the Blood. We'll send you this book for your offering of any amount. So all you have to do is contact the office. You can call or you can get on the website and say, I want the book on the bloodline of a champion or the book on faith in the blood of Jesus. So we want you to have it. And I'm reading a lot of quotes out of this book during this week. We're looking at Romans chapter 3 and verse 25, and we're talking about that one phrase in Romans 3.25 where it says that we have a propitiation, which simply means a reconciliation through faith in His blood. Mm -hmm. And so he says in Romans 3.24 that we are justified or made righteous freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. But he said, actually, that redemption and the grace that is ours must be applied through faith in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Amen. So now let me read this quote that I got from Andrew Murray's book many years ago. Actually, the paper I'm reading from is practically worn out. Uh, but Andrew Murray said it this way. He said, faith is largely dependent upon knowledge. If knowledge of what the blood can or has accomplished is not accurate, then your faith would have little expectation and the more powerful effects of the blood could be limited. Feeble ideas of its power prevent the deeper and more perfect manifestations of its effects. So he says, as we find out, what the scriptures teach about the blood of Jesus, we will see that faith in that blood can produce greater results in us than we have yet known. And in the future, a ceaseless blessing may be ours. Faith makes all the difference. <laughs> faith in his blood. You know, God has done so much for us. Yeah. His plan of redemption is incredible. But if we don't know about it, yeah. our faith cannot work. Yeah. And so I, that's what I love about this book. It's chock full <laughs> of knowledge. And about revelation and great examples and stories yeah, in here. Of the blood. I just love it. And it all applies to us and it connects us to God. Yeah. And it, it gives us such victorious power and well, weapons so, that we can yeah. use. I'm excited. What else are we going to learn today? And so we see that the blood of Jesus in Hebrews 9 12, that when Jesus was raised from the dead, his yeah. first order of business was he took his blood into heaven's holy place. And there he obtained eternal redemption for us. And then in verse 14, it says, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, spirit offered himself mm. without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Amen. And so, it so powerful. It sets you free from dead religion. Yeah. You and know, dead works, he calls dead it. Dead religion. Yeah. Dead works. Um, they require you to do so many things. And think you have uh, to things. try harder to get God's approval. Yes, and got, it's all by your If you words. don't do this, but really, he's really saying that through faith in his blood, mm -hmm. I, Andrew Murray said it this way, to enjoy this blessing, blessing. Nothing is necessary except faith in the blood of Jesus. His blood alone has done everything. You don't have to add nothing to it. Can't take nothing from it. When you come to God, uh, you know, we used to sing that song, just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Whether it's to receive salvation or forgiveness or healing, just as I am without one plea, except that your blood was shed for me. So when we come to God, 
we come with the blood of Christ as our plea. In other words, our faith, Amen. our confidence is in his blood Amen. alone. And Hebrews 10 talks about the comers. Yeah. That God invites us into his presence. The King, the King James be, calls it the worshipers. The worshipers. Yeah, the, those who are making their way into yes. his presence. And we're coming into his presence with confidence. Yeah. And we're so not, there would be no more conscience of sin mm -hmm. if the Old Testament sacrifices would have worked. But they did not work, but the blood of Christ does work and removes sin consciousness mm -hmm. or a guilty conscience. Mm -hmm. That is removed. Or uh, I think Andrew Murray may have said it this way. He said, the blood of Jesus silences the voice of self-condemnation. Right. I like that. The blood of Jesus reaches into the conscience of the believer and silences the voice of self-condemnation. Mm -hmm. Any voice on the inside of you that says you don't quite measure up and you've made too many mistakes, but the blood of Jesus has the power to reach into the conscience, or you could say the deepest part of your personality and reach in there and silence that voice of self-condemnation. And now your conscience must bear witness that you have been made righteous by the blood of Jesus. His blood alone has removed all, not just sin, but all unrighteousness. And so now you have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. So we need to daily recognize that yeah. and reckon on those facts that are true about what Jesus has done for you yeah. and what he's done for in you mm -hmm. and what he's doing now. He uh, is ever living to make intercession mm -hmm. and he applies that blood. That blood is ever speaking. And so our part is to have faith in it and to acquire more knowledge about it. Mm -hmm. I love that verse in Romans 3 that you're talking about yeah. has a reference to uh, Exodus, where they would come, apply the blood, and it they had a meeting. The Amplified Bible says an intimate meeting with mm. God. And wow. so that you can come into holy worship mm. with God. How can a holy God come so close to an unholy person? There has to be some way that that person can be cleansed and made righteous. And that's the blood of Jesus. That's why we want to put high um, value and apply it daily and live in the consciousness of it. That's something you have to do intentionally mm. is apply the blood of Jesus, daily. sing songs about it, yeah. uh, make confessions, yeah. not only about yourself, but in speaking to other people and thinking about yeah. other people. Apply the blood to them. Yeah. And uh, as we do that, there will become a closer fellowship with them mm. and others will live in victory because of our victory. Yeah, he says, if we walk in the light, 1 John 1, 7, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, What's he talking about in the light? I think he's talking about in the light of the word, mm -hmm. but he's also talking about in the light of redemption. Different. I believe he's also talking about in 1 John, in the light of the love of God. Yes. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, look at that. He said, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. Uh, Wigglesworth, Smith Wigglesworth said something like this, and I don't have the whole paragraph, but I got this one phrase out of it. He said, there is not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. There is not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. You ought to say that right now. There, there is, is not, not one thing, thing in, in me, me the blood, blood does not cleanse. In other words, the blood has such effective power that it cleanses from all sin and all unrighteousness. In other words, the sense or the guilt or the shame of sin has been removed by the power of the blood of Jesus and by the working of the Holy Spirit himself in the heart of the believer. Amen. So he says we're cleansed from all sin. So look at Colossians chapter 1. This is another one of my favorites. It's a beautiful scripture. Colossians yeah. chapter 1. And uh, I'm not sure we'll get started here in verse uh, 20. Colossians 1.20, and it says, and having made peace through the blood of his cross. So you should underline that in your Bible. Colossians chapter 1, verse 20. 
through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things to himself, things in the earth or things in heaven. And verse 21, and you were sometime alienated enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. And then it says in verse 22, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy, unblameable, and unreprovable in his sight. Well, some translations would say in his presence. Mm -hmm. In other words, through the blood of his cross, we are restored to fellowship with God. And he said, and it brings us in the presence of God and we are holy, unblameable, and unreprovable. God sees us through the blood of his cross. And he says, we're standing there holy. Actually, the Living Bible, which is one of my favorite translations of this verse, it says, now as a result, Christ has brought you into the very presence of God and you're standing there before him with nothing left against you, Amen. nothing left that he could even chide you for. In other words, he didn't bring you in there so that he could chide you or correct you or rebuke you. In other words, he said, through the blood of his cross, you come into his presence and there's nothing left against you. You're standing there holy, unblameable, and unreprovable. How wonderful. <laughs> it's like, How marvelous. So it's, a, it's almost like a revelation that Paul's given here that's a, that's too good for most religious people to even believe. They're like, they come in, they feel unworthy, and they're like, oh, I've made so many mistakes. But when you come with faith in the blood of Jesus, the blood cleanses from all sin and even removes the guilt and the stain of sin or even the memory or the consciousness of sin is removed. So the enemy will try to bring it to your mind. He's the accuser, but Jesus is our advocate. He's our lawyer, and he has never lost a case. <laughs> We've got an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. So Jesus is our advocate in heaven, and the Holy Spirit is the advocate in our heart. Yes. And yes. so we have an attorney working on our case, a lawyer. Jesus, our advocate, the Holy Spirit, our advocate, and our lawyer, our attorney will tell us how to win that case, mm -hmm. how to, what is your plea or how do you plead mm -hmm. to win this case? Mm -hmm. Well, we grew up, my mother would say, I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Some people don't understand that I plead the blood and all that is a legal term. I plead the blood. Really, in the New Testament, it's synonymous with faith in the blood. But when uh, he says, Isaiah 43, 25 and 26, I, even I, am he that blots out thy transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember thy sins. Wow, look at me right now. God in Isaiah 43, 25 and 26 said, I, even I, am he that blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. So he said, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. In other words, what is your plead? How do you plead? You would say, I plead the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. That means I rest my case on the power of the blood of Jesus. And I win this case because of faith in his blood. Wow. Hallelujah. I plead and the God blood. God wants us to win. <laughs> yeah. So he's given us all the tools and all the weaponry that we need to win every single battle. But again, we need to know what they are yeah. and become skillful yeah. Yeah. in using the weapons of our warfare. And this weapon of the blood of Jesus, it's, it comes out of faith in the blood. Faith is called a shield, mm. shield of faith. Yeah. So knowing about the blood of Jesus will mm. uh, stop any fiery darts from yeah. hitting you, any uh, weapons that the enemy might be throwing at you, mm. accusations or doubt, unbelief, fear, uh, dread of your future, and, and guilt from the past. You know, you just feel like you're trapped. But when you are armed with the knowledge of faith in the blood, you've got your shield of faith up and you've mm. got your sword of the spirit. Wow. We overcome those thoughts that the enemy brings yeah. to you of guilt or condemnation. You can't make it. 
Oh, we overcome with the sword. Yeah. God has given us his word, and that's the blood of the Lamb. Yeah, we and overcome. that's something God's done for us in heaven. He's put mm -hmm. it there. It's speaking, but we must speak it. Here. We hear in other words, the we blood. We overcome with the word of our testimony. The blood is applied in heaven mm -hmm. by Jesus himself, but the blood's applied in your heart or in my heart by faith. That means you and I bring our confession, yes. our words into agreement with the word of God. And we overcome Satan, Revelation 12, 11. What a weapon we have. We overcome the accuser yes. by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So Jesus is your advocate. And the enemy, Satan, is your accuser. We overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our confession, one translation Amen. says. In other words, our confession of faith. And so when we declare what the blood has done for us, not just once a month, not just once a week, but a daily confession daily. of the blood. That blood, yes. I love Andre Crouch's old song, it reaches to the highest, highest mountain, mountain, flows to the lowest this valley, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never, never lose it. its power. Wow. <laughs> so with my mama, she would say, I plead the blood. And we would say she was like slinging blood everywhere, blood here and blood there. <laughs> you really get that from Hebrews where Moses, it says in the Old Testament, when they came to worship, that he would sprinkle blood on every worship instrument, that he would sprinkle blood on the book. In other words, every promise of God has blood on it. He yes. would sprinkle blood on the book, yes. and then he would sprinkle blood on all the people. So Andrew Murray said it this way, the sprinkling of blood is the highest act of worship. That means if you want to access the highest place of worship in the presence of God, there must be the application of the blood. In the Old Testament, they sprinkled it. In the New Testament, we do it by faith, faith in his blood. Amen. And God is calling us to come higher and come closer in this time, in this mm. season, that there are, uh, you know, the blood of Jesus is a portal mm. where you can go through that power, that door, that at, uh, the entryway and have access, mm -hmm. but there are places in God that the Holy Spirit is calling us to come. And you might say, well, I've been walking with the Lord all, you know, a long time and everything, but there is more. God wants you to be equipped with more knowledge, and there's an invitation from Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's calling you. He says, come on, le let me show you further. Let me take you into mm. the holy place. Let me show you things wow. uh, that you have not seen before. Why does he want to do that? So you can be more effective as mm. a Christian. So your mm. faith and your prayer life will go to a new level. You'll see victory where you had mm. defeat before. Come on. Let's, let's, I think the Holy Spirit he is says, saying that today. He says, let us draw near. Yes. In other words, God's already done everything he's going to do. Now you and I draw near. One translation says, let us press closer, closer and, and closer to the Father. Yeah. But we must come with a childlike faith and a full expectation of his blessing. In other words, with full assurance of faith, the blood of Jesus purges us from a guilty yeah. conscience or from yeah. sin consciousness or from an evil conscience. Our, our sin is removed and the guilt is removed. And he said, and he washes our body with pure water. That must be like like healing water, pure water, <laughs> holy water. So our heart is cleansed. Our body is washed. Imagine every cell in your body in the presence of Amen. God and he washes over you yeah. every memory or every trace of the past or failure or everything that would bring condemnation Amen. or damage you. He washes your body. What, what an experience that we have in the presence yes. of God. And every believer can do this. I like what I heard dad Hagen say one time, he said, no one can get closer to God than you can. <laughs> I like that. I like In other that. words, you don't have to be a preacher or a prophet or an apostle. 
No one can get closer to God. No one can get closer to God than you can. Amen. When you come by faith in the blood, he brings you into perfect fellowship with the Father God. And that is the place where you are satisfied and you are filled. And the love of God and the love of Christ yes. fills your heart. And the joy Amen. of the Lord and the peace of God in his presence is fullness of joy. Amen. How do you access that? He says, by faith in the blood of Jesus, by faith in that blood, you can press closer and closer to the Father. Amen. I love that he's called Father. He Jesus Abba, wanted Abba. us yeah. to have that fellowship with the Father just like he did. And he invites us to come and he made the way for us to come. Yeah. And we can cry like uh, Romans, the eighth chapter. Yeah. Abba. Father, that's Daddy God. That's very dear. And uh, I heard my sister Patsy say this. She said, you know, as a child, and I mm. can relate to this because mm. our daddy, Bill Bierman, he was a good daddy, big cowboy guy, you yeah. know, and he'd get us on his lap and we could put our head against his chest. And you could hear him sing or speak or pray over us. And we could hear him with this ear, but then we could also hear his voice uh, through this ear that was pressed up against his chest. So we could hear him mm -hmm. from the inside. So as it was so yeah. precious, you could hear that mm -hmm. vibration of his voice, wow. his songs. And God is inviting us not to draw, not to stand back, but come close. Yeah. We are his children. Well, and here's, Listen to that voice with your ear pressed next mm -hmm. to him. And the great thing is, not everyone had that kind of relationship no. or fellowship with their dad or with their father. Many had, had no dad, but really, or maybe had a bad experience. A bad dad. But with yeah. your father, God, Jesus That's said, so I want good. you to know God as your dad, as your father, and have closest fellowship with the father, God. Everyone. Press closer to Everyone. know him. <laughs> Amen. And so we encourage you, uh, program our time's about up, but the bloodline of a champion, get this book, call okay. the office or get on markhankins.org and uh, order this book, The Bloodline of a Champion, for your offering of any amount. And so if you're not a partner with Mark Hankins Ministry, just say, I'd like to be a partner and help them preach that blood all over the world. I mean, Amen. the word is going nation after nation, and uh, we'll be going to Turkey pretty soon and pastors from Iran, Iraq, and, this and book teaching is them. And the book translated. Yes, Amen. Yes. And so um, you uh, be a partner with us. Thank you so much for being a partner with us. And um, wow, get the book Bloodline of a Champion. And remember, faith in his blood, apply that blood Amen. every day with your voice. Lift your voice and there's victory in your voice. So until next time, may God richly bless you and Jesus <laughs> is Lord. You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. There is no doubt we are living in uncertain times. People are struggling with anxiety and have a lot of questions about what's going on in the world and how that will impact their future. Do you want to live an overcoming, victorious and faith-filled life? Faith in the blood of Jesus can help us live in the reality of our redemption, which gives real solutions to real people for real problems. In this book, The Bloodline of a Champion, Mark Hankins explains the power of the blood of Jesus. Not only will we clearly see what the blood has done for us, but also what it does in us as believers. This book has a brand new chapter about his grandson, Dylan, and how he overcame leukemia and a bone marrow transplant. With this offer, you will also get a bonus four CD set, The Bloodline of a Champion. By faith, we are part of a new bloodline, The Bloodline of a Champion. Order this special package today. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. Your love seat will also help us complete our new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us distribute the word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. 
For your gift of any amount, you will receive the book and the four CD set, The Bloodline of a Champion. To order this special offer, call us today at 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. You know, my parents love what they do. And the reason why they love what they do is because it is a call that God has placed on the inside of them. A call to teach their people faith, a call to teach people who they are in Christ, a call to teach people the authority of the believer, a call to teach people that it is the will of God for them to be healed, a call to teach people that they can be happy and live a joyful and joyous life, a call to teach people what they have as a believer. It is a powerful, powerful word that they have on the inside of them. And I, for one, even as just their child, I, for one, am so thankful for their obedience because of everything that they have done, everything they have poured out all of their lives since they got married. They have made this their mandate to bring these messages to the world. They don't just leave it on the inside. They don't just keep it for themselves, but they share this message. Why? Because they want your life to change. They want the world to change. They want other countries to change by knowing this. And because of this awesome message, it's an, a privilege to share, but you know that it takes a lot of finances and resources to get books out there and to go where they want to go, where other people can't go. There may be places that you have in your heart to go. There may be countries that are in your heart and you may not ever be able to go there. But when you decide to partner with Mark Hankins Ministries, he is able to go to those places and she is able to go to those places and teach them who they are in Christ and teach them their authority as a believer. They're able to write the books and translate the books into so many different languages so that people all over the world get this message. I encourage you to pray about partnering with Mark Hankins Ministries with my parents. It is their heart and their desire to keep this message going longer, stronger, and further than they could ever go themselves. I encourage you to pray about partnering with Mark Hankins Ministries, and we thank you. Those of you that have partnered, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for helping us fulfill the will of God for our lives, for Mark Hankins and Trina Hankins for their life. We thank you so much, and we pray that God richly blesses you. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. Thank you for watching.